So, my girlfriend and I have been traveling recently. Whenever we do, we like to have a decent itinerary for our travel. We're going to Madrid soon, our first time there for both of us. We want to make the most of it. Up until now, we would have had a day-to-day -day itinerary written out, a spreadsheet with the exact same information, but just with costs, and a Google Maps with saved places. The trouble is, I've got to manually enter things into multiple places every time I want to add something to the plan. It's laborious. We aren't going to stop traveling anytime soon, so it's worth investing in speeding this up. I could have made a full stack app, but to be totally honest, I don't have the time or energy to do that. I wanted to do this using Palantir's AIP, and it only took me a couple of hours. If you like what I've built, if you want to optimize some other part of your life, or you just love building apps quickly, check out build.palantir.com. They've got loads of full stack example applications there. Check it out, you'll get loads of free credits to build with. Right, let me show you what I've built. Remember, this only took me a couple of hours, so be nice. Let's select my Madrid trip here. I've already put an event in. We've got a map to visualize all the activities. It's actually quite bare bones right now. We haven't got much here. We've got this timeline too. Let's start enriching our data. I could manually create events, but I'm feeling lazy. I wanna use this auto ingest with AI, where I can just paste stuff in. I actually already found this really useful itinerary online. It's got some great ideas for things to do in Madrid. I'm just gonna paste that in. And that's all there. I also have already booked my flight, so I'm gonna copy and paste the email flight information and get that in there. I'm gonna press auto create with AIP. And now this is gonna kick off LLM agents in the background to pass through the raw text that I pasted in. It's gonna generate travel events containing the raw text. This also works if you already have an itinerary plan. You can just paste that in. And once that's done, I have a chance to check through all the auto-generated items. Large language models are good, but they can still hallucinate. AIP gives us guardrails to check around and delete things in case they do. I actually don't want to do the spike tour, so I'm going to get rid of that. And there we go. Looks like everything's been identified. All the fields are populated. My flights are there. And I'm off to a great start. I actually really want to stay at the Radisson Red Madrid, so I'm going to create an accommodation. I haven't booked it yet, but... Uh, so I'm just going to put the booking status as needs booking. I made those fields so they make sense for booking status. And I'm going to guess 150 pounds for the cost. For the date, I can see there that my flight is around November 7th. So I'm going to put 8th November there for check-in. And now I've got events, accommodation, travel. I want to check what's close together on the map so I can start building up what I can do each day. And still, we haven't got stuff on the map. I need to set location. In the background, this set location button calls on the Google Maps Places API to search for location coordinates based on event name, travel origin, or destination. I put this behind a button so that I'm not wastefully calling the Places API. And we should just about be done. Let's look at what we have on the map. Great. It seems like everything's got a location. I can visualize where my stops are, travel plans, my flights. And this is actually a good reminder that I'm departing from Heathrow in London, but I'm getting back to Stansted. Let's take a closer look at the actual events on my flight though in the hotel. They're all quite tightly grouped, except for this Warner Bros, I think. Yeah, Warner Bros. Um, yeah, it's quite far from the hotel, so I'll probably, yeah. November 8th, right after the flight lands, that doesn't make any sense. So I'm going to change that. I wouldn't have found that out if it, you know, it would have taken me longer if it wasn't for this map right next to the timeline. And update that. Perfect. That's updated. Probably gonna take a whole day off just for Warner Bros. 
and actually you may have already spotted but I have this little counter in the top right where I total all the costs automatically so whatever price I put in it adds it up um, I'll just add a 150 pounds for my flight good deal and yeah it should update so in a matter of minutes I've got total cost estimates a map view I can set up timelines it's all easily saved and editable from the same place goodbye separate documents and spreadsheets I'm already using this to plan our trip to Spain many more trips to come Next steps for me are to add the ability to text myself any day's itinerary and automate it so it'll text me in the morning whilst I'm on holiday. Drop a comment if you'd like to see a live build of that. Again, don't forget to check out build.palantir.com so you can access these tools for free using introductory credits. Thanks for watching. I've been Ishan. Have a good day.